Welcome to kidsacademy.mobi. Hello everyone. Let's open the worksheet. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can find the link to this app in comments below. Today we have a new worksheet that is lots of fun. The name of our worksheet is called Find the Rule. The directions say check the correct rule for each function machine. So what we've got here is each one of these little different colored boxes are our function machines. And what we have to do is we have to find the rule that makes sense for each one of these machines. So let's start with the first one. We're gonna start with this green function machine right here. And it says input and output on the other side. So input is what we start with in our machine. So let's start with that first number right here, the number four, and our output is gonna be eight. That's what we come out with when we're all done with our machine. So I'm gonna turn this into an equation, and I'm gonna have four at the beginning and eight at the end of my equation. But what I need to figure out here is the rule that makes sense. What what do we need for four to become eight? We have to find that rule. And we have a few options. We've got plus three, plus four, or plus five. And you might already know the answer to this, but let's go through and see what makes sense. So let's first start with the top number. Four plus three equals eight, okay? Does that make sense? Four, let's count on five, six, seven. Is that right? No, nope, that one's not right, is it? So I know that that's not the correct answer. So I'm gonna try again. Let's try the next one. We've got plus four. Four plus four equals eight. Does that make sense? Well, I know that that's correct because I remember my doubles. Four plus four equals eight. So I know that's the correct answer and that makes sense on our first equation, but the rule that we pick has to make sense for each one of these equations in our function machine. So I'm gonna go on to the next one and I'm gonna plug this in because I think it's plus four. So I've got nine plus four equals 13. Does that make sense? Well, let's check. I'm gonna count four up from nine. So I'm actually gonna draw four dots. So I've got nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Is that correct? Yeah, that also works. So I'm sure it's gonna work down here, but it's always a good idea to go back and make sure. So I've got three plus four equals seven, okay? So once again, I wanna check, I'm gonna count up from three. So three, four, five, six, seven. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. So this is my rule or my answer for this function machine right here, okay? So let's go on to the next one. Let's go to the purple one. We're gonna start with eight, that's our input. We have to do something to eight to make it equal my output, which is six, all right? So I wanna use my logical thinking. I wanna think about what makes sense. If I have eight and I end up with six, that already, even if I don't know the answer, gives me a clue about the equation, okay? I know that I'm going to subtract to get six, right? So I'm gonna start with eight, I have to subtract or take away to get a smaller number. So I know it's gonna be a subtraction. I know that for sure in my head, but I'm not sure is it two or is it four? So let's just plug in this first one right here, okay? Eight minus two equals six. And let's go ahead and draw this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? And then I'm gonna take away two, one, two, and then I'm left with three, four, five, six. I'm left with six. So that is the correct answer, but I wanna make sure that it works on all of them. So I'm gonna do 11 minus two equals nine. Let's see if this makes sense. Let's draw it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. I'm gonna take away two. One, two, and I'm left with four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that is also correct. Let's do it again here. We've got 16, okay? We need to take away two is what we think it is. And that should leave us with 14. So does that make sense? 
6 minus 2 is 4, 6, 5, 4, yep. And then we just bring the 1 down, so that is our answer. That is correct. So our answer is negative 2, okay? Now let's go down to our orange function machine down here, and we start with the number 10, okay? And we do something to get 3. What are we gonna do? Are we gonna take away seven? Are we gonna add seven? Or are we gonna subtract eight? What do you think the answer is gonna be? At least what sign are we gonna use? We start with 10 and then we end up with three. Are we adding or subtracting? We are going to subtract, right? We have to subtract to get a lesser number than the number we start with. So I know it's either gonna be minus seven or minus eight. Let's start with the first one, minus seven. Let's see if this makes sense. Let's plug it in. Um, let's draw it out, or you know what? We could count on our fingers, couldn't we? Because it's 10 and we got 10 fingers, so let's do this. 10 minus seven, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which leaves us with what? One, two, three, so is that correct? Yes, that is the answer. So I think that's gonna be my rule, but let's try it again for 14. So 14 minus seven equals seven. Does that make sense? Actually, I know that that makes sense because I remember my double. Seven plus seven equals 14. And you remember that rule where everything kind of goes together. So that lets me know that 14 minus seven equals seven. So I know that that one's already correct. I just knew that one. Let's go to the next one. The next one is 18 minus seven equals or should equal 11. Okay, let's go ahead and count this out. Um, let's do, let's just draw it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now we're gonna subtract seven, so count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We should be left with 11 if this is correct. So we've got five plus five is 10 plus one is 11, so that is the correct answer. It is minus seven. So I'm gonna put a check right over here. We're almost done, we're halfway through here. Let's go into the next one. The next one is three, and then we have to do something to it to get the number eight. Are we gonna add or are we gonna subtract? Three to eight, we go up, right? We have to add. So we're gonna add something, I know that, but I'm not sure what. Let's find the two we've got here. We've got four and we've got five. Let's start with four and see if that works. That's the first one that I see. So three plus four is eight. I don't know, let's count. We've got three, we have to add four. So three, four, five, six, seven. Is that right? Nope, that's not right, is it? So that's not the right answer. So I'm going to try again. I still know it's an addition one though, so let's see, is there another option over here? Yep, there's five, let's add five. We've got three, we're gonna count on one, two, three, four, five, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. So that's probably gonna be the answer, but let's just double check. Let's do 10 and then something is gonna equal 15, okay? I'm gonna think that it's five, and actually, you know what? I already know that it's five, you know how I know? Because I know how to count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20. So 10 plus five is 15, right? That's our next number, so I already know that's correct. What about 12 plus five equals 17? Is this the right answer? Well, let's just add it up to the side. 12 plus five, okay? I know five, six, seven, and then one is 17, so that's right. So this is my answer in this particular function machine is plus five. I'm gonna put the check right over here. And then I'm gonna go down to my blue one. I've got input. Input starts with two. We do something to it to get 13 equals 13. Are we adding or subtracting two to 13? We're gonna add, right, because it's a bigger number. So what am I gonna add? Am I gonna add 10 or 11? What do you think it is? Well, I know that if you take 10 and add the number to it, it's gonna look a lot like this number. I think 10 plus two is gonna be 12, so I'm gonna think that it's 11. Let's try 11 and see if that's right. 11, I'm actually gonna add on two. So 11, 12, 13, is that correct? 
Yeah, that's right, isn't it? So it's probably gonna be correct with the rest of them. I wanna double check at least just one more to make sure. So five plus 11 equals 16. Is this right? I don't know, let's write it over here. I like to start with 11 plus five, okay? It's the same thing whether I put the five or the 11. And then five plus one is six. Bring down the one is 16, so that's right. I know this is right. I'm not even gonna check the last one. Once you get the hang of it, I think sometimes you can skip and not do every single one, but it's good to check at least one more. So I think this is correct. We've got plus 11 right here, okay? And then we've got one more function machine. You're doing an awesome job. Let's do the next one. We've got nine. And then we have to do something to it to get, oh my gosh, zero, just zero. What do you think that it's gonna be? You might already know the answer to this because there's kind of a rule with zero. If we have zero, okay, and we, we end with zero, we have to take away that exact number to get zero, right? So we've got nine, we have to do something to get zero. I think that it's gonna be nine, okay? So let's try this, nine, minus nine equals zero, okay? And I'm gonna do this on my fingers. I've got nine, I have to take away nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? So I'm left with zero. So this is right, this is the right answer for this one. So now I have to see if it works with another one. This one's kind of tricky. Let's do 16 minus nine equals, or it should equal if we're right, seven. Okay, let's draw this one out with our dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then we're gonna take away nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We should be left with seven. I've got five up here, five, six, seven. Is that right? Yeah, we got it right, didn't we? So I know that negative nine is the correct answer. If we wanna check one more, just to be sure, we've got 18 minus nine equals, and it says it's nine. And actually, I know that one's right because I know my doubles, nine plus nine equals 18. So if I take 18 and subtract nine, it's gonna equal nine. So we did an awesome job today. Thank you for working through this with me and finding your rule for your function machines. Great job, I'll see you guys again next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>